this by far has to be one of the creepy places I think I've ever delivered to. Uh, so let's get out of here. <laughs> Cause I'm in Texas and they did have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That is a real thing. Like, look at how, and this leads to like a dead end down here. <laughs> like these Texas back roads, I swear. My car didn't stop, I just gotta pull around. More on this near-death experience at the end of this video. What's up guys, sorry for the thumbnail. I know it's a little bit more aggressive than it should be, but what I'm gonna talk about in this video is actually a good thing. So as of right now, I'm heading back from dropping off a disaster of an order. Nothing wrong with like the customer or whatever. I just snatched the badge way too quickly and after I got into the thick of it. Into the thick of it? Yeah, uh, the, the miles were outrageous, but hey, you know, you make some mistakes along the way. But we're not here to talk about that. I haven't done point pickup in a few weeks, actually. And the last time I did it, I was talking about um, all the bonuses that you guys were so nice enough to use my code for. And the screen that I saw didn't look like this right here. But as you can see, now there is a button on there that says pay me now, <laughs> or pay me, or instant cash out, or whatever you guys want to call it. But that is now the option on um, point pickup. You can actually have your money paid out to you ASAP. It's my money and I need it now. This is a feature that they've been needed for quite a while because of a few months ago, I had issues getting payment from them myself. Uh, it was related to bonuses. I looked into the point pickup app. There were bonuses sitting in there for me and um, they were sitting there for like two weeks. So I emailed them and I was like, hey, you know, you guys normally pay out every week. Why are these bonuses not moving to my bank account? And they wrote me back and said, well, since they're bonuses, this system doesn't know to go in and like look for anything. They just kind of look over it, which didn't make any sense to me. Like how could you look over money in someone's account that you guys are supposed to auto process every week? But anyway, uh, after talking to them and sending them the screenshots so they can see what I was seeing, they went ahead and like forced the money to my bank account, which was awesome. And I know a few of you guys under my point pickup video commented and said the same thing. You've had issues like getting your money from point pickup. So maybe now with this cash out feature, you guys can actually just hit the button and get the money that you were owed. Red light. So let's talk a little bit about how this cash out thing works. So your account, as they say, you have to be part, oh, green light. Let's try that again. <laughs> so the account, as they say, you have to have been active for at least 30 days. So if you guys are brand new to the platform, this isn't a button you're gonna see. All the apps on this phone are set to auto update. So I didn't even notice it just the other night I went in there because every night I just like to check the apps to see if there's any promotions or whatnot. And that button was sitting there. So I thought that was cool. So I wanted to learn a little bit more about it because what I saw there, there's a fee for cashing it out. And I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna, you know, jump to the comments and have something to say, but honestly, that's nothing new with all these apps. Instacart's gonna charge you a fee if you hit auto cash out. Uber does the same thing. Uh, Corner Shop doesn't have instant cash out yet. Shame on you. And uh, I don't think Grubhub actually charges you a fee if you cash out with them. Um, you guys let me know. I just normally let everything just kind of roll over, mostly for all the apps I work. Now this kind of reminds me of how Roadie was set up. Granted, I haven't done a Roadie since the Roadie video I did like almost a year ago, but they finally got into the instant right to SH45 East. That was random. Uh, but they finally got into the whole instant cash out thing and for them, you had to complete at least five roadies before it unlocked the instant cash out feature. But um, so point pickup is saying you gotta be active for at least 30 days on the account, then you will see this cash out feature. As far as the percentage goes, it looks like it's gonna be a 1.99, so we'll just say 2% of whatever the earnings are that you're cashing out is the little cut that they're gonna take from that cash out. Now you still can let it auto roll over every week, point pickup takes the money and pushes that money to your account. Uh, ever since that email that I had with them a couple of months ago, I haven't had any issues. The bonuses that you guys uh, were so gracious to do for me, those have processed out with no problem. Another thing I would say if you guys are having issues getting your money from Point Pickup, uh, even though it might be sitting in there and nothing has changed, the card number is the same, expiration, security code, all that jazz, uh, sometimes it helps just to go in and clear it all out and put it back in there. I had to do that with Uber at one point, or Uber Eats, for whatever reason, and it got my money coming through. So sometimes it can just be a glitch in the matrix or, you know, stuff glitches out of me. 
it's technology. It's great when it works with us, not against us, hence the Terminators. But uh, yeah, just go in, take everything out, put it back in there, save it, and that should fix the issue. Now, it does have to be a debit card. It can't be one of those prepaid cards, so um, that's something you're gonna have to consider. I know one of the subscribers wrote to me and said they were kinda sketched out about using the uh, Stripe for um, processing the payment through the apps. And I have to say, I think, when you hit cash out with Instacart, they also use Stripe. Cause I just remember when I would hit Insta cash out on Instacart, it was a different tagline that would show up on my bank account. Um, and when it would auto roll over, it was something totally different. That was a sharp turn. <laughs> I'm still here. Yeah, it was like Bear Share or something weird. I think Bear Share was that streaming service we used back in the day that was like LimeWire and Napster. Anyway, I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see what I'm saying. It was Bear something. So when I hit auto cash out, it was Bear something. But when it just auto rolled over, like when Instacart would just cash you out, it said something else on my uh, bank statement. Um, whatever. But I think they actually use Stripe too. So Stripe is trusted. It's linked to a whole lot of things. So. Um, Nothing's gone wrong so far with me. I mean, I don't have, I'm not sitting on tons of money. So if a hacker wants to take the time to jump into my account and get disappointed, you go right ahead. And another thing I saw, it looks like you also have the option of how much you want to cash out, which I don't know why you'd want to hold on to any of the money in the account. I mean, the way things are going these days, if you can get your hands on your money, you better take it. <laughs> Otherwise, they might do something weird. I mean, the app might crash. You know, they might go bankrupt. Who knows? Get your money when you see it. But it looks like you have a slider on there so you can adjust how much you want to take out. Um, as you can see from this demo, it looks like it was $800 that this person was awarded. I wish that was me, but it's not. And they and they can slide to adjust how much they actually want to be deposited into their account. I don't know, maybe it can be like a savings thing for you. Maybe you don't want your wife or husband to know how much you made that week. Entirely up to you. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm heading back to Civilization. I'm about to try to work a few more orders. Right now it is 2.30, I got a late start, but um, if I continue to work the rest of the day, just for the nosy people who wanna know how much money I made, that's how much money I made today. So yeah guys, let's get into the numbers here real quick. So on the 24th, as you guys can see, I went out and worked Instacart and made only $62. Then did Grubhub came with a whopping $10.11 if you wanna round it up. Then I attempted to do a corner shop order that I just had them cancel out completely. Me and the customer were not seeing eye to eye. It was a language issue and I wasn't gonna take the risk of getting a low star rating, so that was that. Uh, they awarded me about $14 for the time I put into it, so not so bad. But all in all, this was my final total for that day. Yeah, harsh barley. Harsh barley, bro. Is it? Is it harsh barley? Yeah, that day was trash can central. But I went out yesterday on the 25th, worked Grubhub, I worked Corner Shop, and I also worked Instacart and made this for my final total. Not too bad. I mean, who knows? I might actually just turn it off and go home. But uh, if you see something on the screen, that was my day. Until the next video, guys, I hope you have a good one and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Yeah, so that almost looks like a spike strip. <laughs> Could you imagine delivering down here at night? There is no street lights anywhere. There's a half of a car buried in the grass. I don't know who would live in there. Like, this is crazy. Look at this. You come around this road. I like sunflowers though. Have a look at that house. And to make matters worse, there is a gate code to get in here. So uh, if they wanted to lock me in here, they really could. Wow. Really feel like we were gonna have some, uh, what do you call that? Heels have eyes. Thank God it opened. <laughs> horse ranch. And I didn't see not one horse throughout this entire trip. Let me out of here. <laughs> Yee doggy. And it doesn't help that I was listening to some true horror podcasts on. I mean, that's all I listen to, really. And uh, I'm over here freaking myself out. But I made it through. I made it through. Thank God. And as a reminder, summer is here and the Gig Gear store is now open on Redbubble. Update your wardrobe with our custom apparel, mask, and we even have thank you labels. Also take some time to view our Amazon merchandise store. Links for both can be found in the description box below. We thank you in advance for your support.